Hi Cancer, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 4th to the 10th of uh, May I was going to say April then <laughs> The time passes so quickly um, I'm using the um, Angel uh, he Healing uh, Angel Healing Power Angel Cards of the Angels The Healing Power of the Angels Also Archangel Michael and the Angel Feather card and the Wild Unknown Tarot I'm also using the Crystal Ball and I've just cleaned the Crystal Ball but I've just been just setting it up and here we go so this is your reading Cancer and if you would like to have an extended reading then have a look below the video for more information or click in the screen on that white dot with the eye and it will take you to the website and there you can find all the information if you're new welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when new videos uh, are uploaded or when I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards and I also answer questions that have donations either by super sticker or super chat and I think it's awesome. Thank you very much, Cyber Angels, for coming back and being so loyal. I'm really grateful and all your likes and shares. And if you would like to become a Cyber Angel new viewers, then join us in the live and then you are initiated as a Cyber Angel. Okay, let's get back to the reading. This is a smoky quartz and I love it and this is really holy to me because it's given with love by somebody my sister and ooh, there's something coming through something that you didn't expect cancer something is coming through some in other words something might become clear to you there might be a rise there might be an extra bonus of some kind this could be at work but it could also be in your private life something has come full circle I see a golden circle it's very small so don't expect big things it's something very small so you could be getting a gift like a ring something round or a golden coin something round but something has come full circle mm, I also see do this happening so you might be mellowing over something that you want or that you need to do shall I do it or shall I don't there might be choices as well everybody's got a lot of choices this week I also see let's have a look I'm also seeing a heart there could be new love coming in if you're not hooked up but this could also be something that you love that's coming in which is stronger it could be a new level in a relationship or a partnership because your heart is in it because I see the heart shape okay it's going like that and it's really a pointy heart it's not hmm it, it's got an edge to it it's got an edge to it um, what I mean by an edge is that there's something very specific I see an arrow um, at the end of the heart so that might be Cupid you might have had an arrow shot through the heart you might have a new love let's see what the cards say whether it's you or whether you are being in the spotlight I'm also seeing clouds now the clouds uh, I also see an air balloon that's crazy but that's how they used to travel in the old days but I see travel so and Sun so it might be that you're going to a place uh, where Sun is and you might be traveling through air so it could be with well, could be an air balloon, but I think it will be more likely to be an aeroplane. I don't know, but the Gemini had fish as well, I think, 
always a Taurus, but I see fish here as well. And I see, um, I don't know, I'll have to draw it. I see a leaf that is like that. Now I don't know which which tree it is, but it's like a three-fingered leaf. It looks like something like that. That's what I'm seeing. Can you see it? So it, there's also the five-fingered version of that, but I'm seeing a three version of it, a pointy leaf. So have a look what kind of tree or bush that is. It could also be the Holy Trinity. The letter three is prominent here. So the letter three, number three, uh, three fingers, the Holy Trinity, Trinity, something. It could be your heart, mind and soul that's getting into balance. So let's have a look what the cards are saying. I've put those cards out and I'm shaking the tarot cards and then I will put a card down for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the bottom of the deck. So you have a theme card as well. Right, so I'm taking the bottom, and he's coming out big time. He's already come out, also for Gemini, I think. One from the one from the top, and this is the tower, the Hierophant, the tower, and something somewhere, the magician. Ooh, Gemini had that as well. And let's have a look. And you've got the fool. So new beginnings. There you go. Um, and the bottom was the bottom of the deck. Uh, well, it's colourful anyway. Temperance. Very colourful. Well, that stands out yellow, same as Gemini. I think you must be having the same energy, some kind of energy. Let's see. Okay. The first uh, card you have is the Hierophant, okay, and that is ooh, a number five, okay. Um, the Hierophant also represents Taurus, so you might be seeking advice from a Taurus or a mature man or a professional person. You, this crow is holding the key. Well, with the Hierophant uh, card in the traditional tarot, you see two young pupils, priests, um, learning from the cardinal or uh, the high priest as he's also known and the, there's two keys that are crossed so it's a conscious and subconscious com coming together but um, I in this deck I would say the crow is holding on to the key and also you hold the key in your own hand so it's up to you whether you seek advice or not it might be you that's giving advice but something something's happening here cancer you're holding the key to the solution you might need some help with it so you might need some advice there is a tower moment and the tower um, is depicted in a tree and the thunder is lightning and the top is falling off the another uh, things are falling away that could be a friendship falling away uh, you might have a loss of a job or you might be um, an unexpected change. Something was not built on proper foundations. You might be moving away. That could also be the, uh, the you know, you could be moving away um, from an apartment to an other apartment or a house with a garden because of the tree. So, you couldn't make a decision, perhaps, and, but you know you had the key in your own hand on Monday, and you didn't seek advice. So, something changed drastically on Wednesday, unexpected. When one door closes, then an up 20 will open. So, there will be more choices or possibilities. And you can't do anything about the past, because it's gone now. The Divine and the Angels have done it for you. They've given you this change, this new beginning. It's a new beginning, definitely.
something wasn't built on a proper foundation but you uh, it could be a breakage with a torus could be a break with a torus okay now you've got the magician the magician is a new beginning you have all the uh, accessories to make this goal or dream of yours come true you've got one a new beginning you have definitely got a prominently a new beginning and you've also got the fall so take that leap of faith take that leap of faith okay and you've also got temperance now temperance means or represents also Sagittarius but temperance means keeping balance yes you will have to keep balance learn from your lessons from the past okay perhaps you might uh, have seeked an answer from a teacher from the past or uh, legalities so that you don't make the same mistake so that you can maintain what you have with this new beginning, be beginning so you can build up and you can have balance on your money perhaps perhaps you might be seeking financial advice with the hierophant this could be a father or an older brother or an uncle uh, but it could also be uh, a financial advisor okay now uh, we did have the three well um, look at this new beginning new beginning new beginning so that's three cards saying the new beginning so this could be mentally that you're healed of sadness physically that you're healing about something or um, emotionally about an old relationship that has fallen away transformation well that is literally transformation is the tower you're leaving the old behind and you're going to the new the same with the uh, fool taking a leap of faith in a new beginning being daring being in being inspirational and the magician is also you are making your own magic okay that's also a transformational period you're no longer the Capricorn you've grown up Wow transformation and beauty your health your wealth your emotionals emotion your wisdom your spirituality you are a very sensitive sign uh, cancer so you might be more spiritual and yeah, this is um, definitely somebody that's giving you advice or a helping hand you've got a spiritual card like I said you might spiritually be grown or growing and you're in a transformational period trying to find your path to what you want okay divine aid noble man you've got the golden key Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key this sacred key ushers in the arrival of a noble man to assist you in your time of need when you have time of ne in need if you're in need at a certain time you need a helping hand a listening ear guidance advice and for the angel feather you have sunlight so that means the yellow chakra Archangel Jovial okay happiness awaits you the angels ask that you feel happy and optimistic there are bright days ahead of for you the sunlight yellow angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of happiness the angels ask that you connect with your solar magic your solar plex in other words and energies of the Sun as you walk outside this radiant energy will usher in fresh feelings of motivation and cheerfulness the solar rays energize the solar plex chakra which promotes your awareness and individual power the, ref 
revitalization will give you the ability to face your inner fears and inhibitions. Through the sun's illumination you will develop a fresh bright approach to your life. Happiness awaits you. Now the crystals that you can use for this card or with this card and you can carry them with you or when you meditate or contemplate just hold them is the sunstone, gold, amber and helidor and citron. Wow that's magic and you can drink lemon juice, you can wear lemon, and you can meditate on the sorry uh, sunlight color it's also a lemony color for a lot of people so or go and sit in the sunlight and meditate when the weather is nice go outside in space and heal wow beautiful reading so it is a big transformational period for you cancer and there's boom 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 new beginnings one after another but you hold the key if you want a new beginning it's there for you my darlings so take care, be blessed, and I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Please share and like. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you in the life or in the next reading. Ciao, ciao.